Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares, and welcome back to Monthly Themed Thursdays. Now, this month's theme is Video Nasties, the original 72. And this week I picked one that doesn't get talked about a whole lot. It's called I Miss You, Hugs and Kisses. I Miss You, Hugs and Kisses is a 1978 film which runs approximately 88 minutes and is written and directed by Murray Markowitz. Now, this stars Elkie Summer as Magdalene, Khrushchev, Donald Pylon as Charles Khrushchev, Chuck Shimada as Gershon Eisen. Now, this actually has the very first score by Howard Shore. A famous composer. <laughs> All right. I wanted to talk about this uh, Blu-ray a little bit before I get into the meat and potatoes of the film. Uh, this is a really nice Blu-ray. It has actually a double feature on it, which includes one of um, Murray Markowitz's other films called Recommendation for Mercy. I read a little bit about it. It got pretty good ratings, and I actually look forward to uh, watching it at some time. Now, the interesting thing about I Miss You, Hugs and Kisses. All right. I have never heard anything good about this film. Um, as a matter of fact, I thought we were going to watch it. Like, this was a first-time watch for me. I thought we were going to watch it and it was going to qualify for positive spin, which it does anyway, because most people not only don't think it belongs on the video nasties list, but they also consider it to be not very eventful. I'm going to say that I absolutely disagree 100%. You were actually listening to one of the few people that actually liked this film. Even Joe doesn't like it that much. I mean, I think he, it's, the way he put it was, it was watchable. It just doesn't really do much for him. For me, I actually believe the exact opposite. This reminds me of an episode of Dateline. And being a fan of Dateline and watching it over the years, this really was interesting to me. At least for a one-time watch. Now, would I watch this again? Absolutely. Let me get on to the uh, synopsis here. Basically, what you have is a, a famous business guy who escapes from another country. He defects. And his name, of course, is uh, Charles Kirscher. Now, he makes his mark in business. And he's worth a lot of money, drives around in a Rolls Royce, and he marries a model named Magdalene. Well, <clears throat> you kind of see them get married. You see her being killed in the beginning of the film. And I don't want to spoil anything, but that's kind of how the film starts. So if you were to watch this film, I don't want to mislead anyone. She is killed in the beginning of the film, and most of this takes place in a courtroom where we're trying to figure out if her husband is actually the killer. I find this movie really interesting because it goes in all sorts of directions. Because this couple has fallen out of love and because he's worth a lot of money, it may not only be Charles that's maybe not happy in his marriage, but also looking to get out of it in some way, shape, or form. So, um, I would say definitely check this one out. If you like dramas, you know, there is some violence in this, and there's nudity, of course, a little gratuitous nudity, never hurts anything. But one of the things I found, there is a part towards the end that is pretty disturbing, and I think maybe that's what they saw and figured the whole movie was like that, and put it on the video nasties list because we know that a lot of these people didn't even watch these films a lot of it was hearsay and 
um, other people complaining about what they saw. So, yeah, this one is a little bit of a head scratcher why it ended up on the video nasties list. But there is a little bit of violence and a, a disturbing scene towards the end. So, yeah, um, I would say check this one out if you're into dramas like Dateline. If not, this may not be the movie for you. Most people don't seem to like it. Um, but I actually liked it quite a bit. So, don't forget to check out what Joe picks for our monthly theme, which is Video Nasties. The first 72. Remember guys, physical media matters. And until next time, peace.